boom oi it's a big one you know it's one of them ones it's a low-key big one because of all this covid thing but this tottenham liverpool game just kind of snuck around like this is a big one still and i've got some guests with me so let's chop it up you know what i'm saying tottenham liverpool preview boom Back on St. LFC TV with your boy Saint. What's going on? I hope you're good. Don't get confused. You're on St. LFC TV, but I'm, I've got the coppish attire on. So make sure you're going over there and you're buying up the gears then because, yeah, they're decent, man. Looking drippy, in it? Shout out Drifty Callum and Matt, innit? But yo, you're here with, me, with your boy Saint. It's St. LFC TV and we're here for the Tottenham Liverpool preview. It's a bit mad, isn't it? What's going on? Obviously, I had to have some guests with me, you know, like that. So I'm just going to play referee. I'm going to be a little Mike Dean, um, but I'm going to gas it up as well. So I'm going to be Bruce Buffer in it as well, you know, like that. Um, but yo, listen, if it's your first time on the channel, it's your first time here seeing my face and enjoying my content, please, please, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, also, turn on your post notification bell so you know when man's dropping. I would appreciate it. We're like a handful away from 500. I beg you help man um also slap that like button free admission rules apply standard rules all the time you know what i'm saying and get in the comments in it i want to shout out everyone that does hit me up in the comments regularly um aman singh um my man like true don he, well, his comments are mad you know them one they're psychedelic scientists always hitting me up always giving me great interaction in it so um uh like channing no, shout out my regulars in it. So yo, get in the get in the comments in it. Let's go back to back. All right. Spurs in it. Spurs versus Liverpool. Right. Spurs have been on a bit of a bit of a mad one. Obviously, with the new manager that's come in, Conte, serial winner. We know under him they're going to be a whole different beast. They haven't really been fantastic under him, but they've been more functional. I'd say. Um, just getting the job done. Um, I think they are actually undefeated in the league under him. A um, couple draws and, and some wins and that. But their inactivity is what's going to be key because they haven't played um, a competitive game for, I think, 10 days. I think the last time they played was against Norwich where they slapped them 3-0. So, take that how you will. They haven't played, they haven't, they, do you know what I mean? They haven't played a match in 10 days. However, they're going to be chomping at the bit to really, do you know what I mean, make up some some of this ground that they've lost. Um, and also you could see it as that could be a slight advantage for us um, being fitter, being in form um, and just kind of turning into that machine that we, we know us to be um, going up against a team that's now going to be trying to, do you know what I mean? And also with the fact that a lot of their team have, have had COVID, there's a lot of man that I lost. So when I last um, kind of read up, they were out. I don't know what, what the status is going to be in terms of whether they're going to be fit to play. But I know man like Skip, Romero, Son. Um, there was Bear Man, Mora. Bear Man, Bear Man were just bruck, do you know what I mean? Or, or isolating. So who knows what type of team they're going to be able to field, in it? But like I said, it's under Conte. Their man, they're a different beast. Um, so we've got to take them seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, they obviously, I think with this win could jump into four for there or thereabouts so there's a lot on there's a lot on the line in it there's a lot on the line and obviously with the there being a circuit breaker or something coming i want as many points before the season has to done do you know what i mean or pre prematurely kind of do you know what i mean stop or halt so we'll see all right cool coming into the game my predicted lineup very quickly before i let these two battle it out um i want allison trent absolute bad boy shower performance in a newcastle performance and i want that to just carry on um pretty much the same back line if i'm honest with you uh canate matip um robertson obviously we've got our own covid situations with fabinho virgil van dijk and curtis jones out so with no fab i'm gonna say hendo i'm gonna say ox and tiago pretty much again the same to be very honest with you i think i'm gonna go the same lineup as in newcastle um i was thinking shout out my boy clock talk tv make sure you go over there and check out his preview that i was um had a pleasure of joining him for and i think in my preview there i said canate to um canate i said cater to start but just with the fitness and that i'm just probably gonna just change that and let ox have his start and then obviously swap them in 
Um, and then up front, like I said, the same uh, starting three. I don't, the same rules apply with Bobby. Don't think he's going to be fit enough to be able to start the game. Um, but I liked what I saw, especially with Keita and Bobby. Um, predicted score, I'm going to say 2-0. Um, I do think we'll keep a clean sheet. I think it's going to be a hard game. But I see us scoring a goal in each half. Um, and just, you know what I mean, keeping it ticking over. I, with that said... Yo, shout out the Caribbean Don. He's the king, he's the champ. You know them way there, man like Demo. Demo, what are you telling me? Boom. It's your boy Demo Dre here, representing for St. LFC TV. Remember, guys, like, share, subscribe, like up the thing. You know, representing here live from New York, live at work. And I'm wearing my mask because guess what? It's taking over the league right now, it's taking over the NBA. It's Corona back again. So, this is my Liverpool versus Tottenham preview. I have no idea if this game is going to go on. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of all the players who are um, caught COVID or what's happening. But I'm giving my preview if it goes on. So, for me, I'd love for this game to go on because Liverpool are in spanking form right now. We've won our last eight um like we we're just doing bits and i really wouldn't want this game to be cancelled and breaking our momentum on the other hand spurs haven't played for like two weeks and we have no idea how they'll come back so i mean they might be really rusty or they might be really good conte has come around and he's you know he's done his thing with them he's given them a little spark and they're under the radar climbing up the league have a couple games in hand and they're winnable games for them. So, I mean, Spurs could be talking top four here and putting up a great fight. So, I mean, if it's going to be postponed, I really wouldn't want that to happen. For me, I want this game to, to go ahead. Um, for my team selection, I'm going the same team that just slapped Newcastle. I know, I know Ox didn't have his greatest game. But he, for me, he gives a total different dimension to our midfield. And, you know, he drives with the ball. He has the long-range shots. And his work rate is right up there. I know Naby is back. I don't expect him to start. You don't want to rush him. Came on and he had a, a good game when he came on. He was decent um, with those one-twos with Thiago and stuff. I'll save him to come off the bench. And I don't want to rush Naby back and he gets injured again. So, for me... Same lineup. Um, I'm going Allison, Trent, Konate, and Matip. I'm going Robo, uh, Thiago, Henderson, Ox, Jota, Sadio, and King Mohamed Salah. Um, that's my starting lineup for the game. I think that if this game goes on, we're going to win this game because of the form that we're in and just because Tottenham hasn't played for a long time. I know the last time I saw them play was against Norwich. They slapped them like 3 0 and it, Lucas Moura scored a banger. So I guess he's the, the main guy. We have to look out for him. Obviously, Harry Kane and, and Son, those are threats. And Regulon is back. So at left back bombing forward. So for me, I'm going for a 2 1 Liverpool win. We continue our, our dominance in this league. And we chase down those city guys. You know what it is. Big up yourself, Saint 2 1 Liverpool. Boom. Boom. You heard what Demo had to say. I told you, man's just going to be refereeing it and that. You know, like that. I was going to say Mike Dean, but I'm a way better referee than Mike Dean, man. Yo, let's hear what the ops have to say. Tapping Tobes, talk to me. People's Tobes, aka Tapping Tobes. Um, I'm here to preview the Spurs v Liverpool game. Uh, Normally, I'd be really excited about games like this. And to be honest, I could do with a little bit of football because, as you all have seen, Spurs, we ain't played football in a long time. Probably, what, two two weeks since our last game? Me, personally, um, I'm always going to root for Conte. I'm always going to want this team to do well. But, listen, Liverpool have scored, what, like 70 goals in all competitions so far this season. And I think they're going to add a couple more goals to, to that tally. I would love to see us put up a good fight. I'd love to see us give a good account for ourselves um, and under Antonio Conte in such an important game. But listen, the squad is the squad. And Liverpool are Liverpool. 
they're simply a much better side. For me, keep it respectable and play to the best of your ability. <laughs> that being said, I'm going for a Spurs loss. I think we're going to lose that game with the same scoreline. I think we lost it last season, which is 3-1. You heard what that man had to say. I want to shout out Tobes, innit? I've put his link, the link in his stuff um, in the description. And shout out Demo for coming to help me out on this one. Listen, guys, get in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll be back for the review. Boom.